What's up you guys, it's your girl Tay and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and coming back to spend yet again some more time with your girl. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below, join the fam. By doing that, you enter yourself in a chance to win my giveaway in which if you are the winner of my giveaway, you actually get to choose your prize. The two options are gonna be you can choose money through PayPal or you can choose to receive a gift box from me. In that gift box would just be goodies from where I live in Germany or perhaps like my last giveaway winner, I actually got her some stuff when I went on vacation to Ibiza. So we will just see when that time comes, you guys. So hit that subscribe button, join the fam and show me some love because my active followers will definitely, excuse me, subscribers will definitely be more likely to be noticed. And those who are very active will have multiple entries in my giveaway. So they um, are more likely to win. So go ahead and share this video, like, comment, subscribe, join the fam. We would love to have you. As you can tell by today's video title, I'm going to be talking about, I don't want to say the difference in American driver's license versus Germany because not all of these are differences. Some of it's just bits of information that I know I personally looked up before coming to Germany that I really wanted to know. So the first thing you already know, I got all my information in my phone, my handy dandy handy. Let's go ahead and jump right in you guys. The first thing I want to say is upon coming to Germany there, I found out that there are 28 states that that state is considered valid in Germany. Let's say that. Yeah, I'll put it that way. It's considered valid in Germany. With that being said, you can drive on that license in Germany for up to six months without exchanging it for a German license. I also read online that I know for a fact. This I read online. I read that if you do not plan to be here for longer than a year, if you provide proper paperwork, you can actually avoid switching your license at all and if you live in one of those 28 valid states upon coming to germany if you're going to be here for less than a year you do not have to switch your license it is valid for 364 days that i don't know too much information on because that's not something i had to look up because i knew when i was coming here i was coming here for a long time so now that that's out the way now that you know that my license was valid here for six months when I um, came here, I like I said, I did a lot of research, but my dad had already switched it. So I kind of found out a lot of information through him. What I had previously thought was I was going to have to come take the test, drive on the road, learn the rules of the road. But no, my driver's license was from the state of Oklahoma. My process to switching that to a German license, all I had to do, you guys, there's a place called ADAC. That's how we would say it in English. I don't really know the proper pronunciation for the how to say it in German. The way I'm thinking in my head, I'm sure is not right. But anyways, okay. What I had to do was I had to translate my license. So I took my American license from the state of Oklahoma. I took $50 and I went to a place called ADAC. There I gave them my license, my Oklahoma license and my $50. They... 50 oidos. They sent it off for me and got it translated. When they received it back, they sent me a letter in the mail. Of course, they couldn't call right into Germany. They have to do everything. It's like paper trail, paper trail, paper trail here. So I received that letter in the mail. I went back to ADEC. They gave me my um, translated license. And then I then took my translated license to the DMV here in Germany. I've also brought them a passport picture. Um, so they sent my translated. Now, now I'm at the DMV. They sent my translated license with my passport picture off for me. When they received that back, my German um, Führerschein, German license, they, they sent me a letter in the mail and I went back, paid them $30 and I picked it up. So $80, boom, I have my German license. I find that so crazy because if you know, or if you don't know, German license can run up, run you up to like $2,000, 2,000 oidos. That's no exaggeration. I've spoken to people, I've talked to people, and then if you fail the test, you have to redo it all. I don't know if they make you pay full price every single time or if you have like multiple chances, but it can run you up to $2,000. So here I am, somebody who doesn't speak the language, 
somebody who is German, you know, by chance, <laughs> just by luck, I am German. So I just came here on a whim, moved to Germany, you guys, and I was able to obtain my German driver's license being here less than a month. I find that so crazy because like, I'll be on the bus or in the car with my parents and I will look around and I'm like, what does that traffic sign mean? You know, you got the numbers with the slashes through them. Some have three slashes, some have one slash. Um, you can't turn right on red, which I never knew. I just found that out. Thank God I haven't been driving, right? I don't have a car, but um, thank God I wasn't like driving my dad's car or something. I can't drive a stick. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. Thank God I wasn't, period. Um, there's so many rules of the road that I don't know, especially driving with so many bicycles, like bicyclists who are on the road just right along with the cars. You know, they're stopping with the red light, going with the green lights. You know, I don't know if they have the right of way. Do I have the right of way? Are they treated like pedestrians when they're actually on? You know, I don't know. That's why I find it so bizarre that I was actually able to obtain my German license in less than a month, not knowing the language, only paying $80. That's so crazy to me. The next thing that I want to talk about, let's see, is like I said, to obtain your license here in Germany, it is so expensive. Um, they pay up to $2,000. Sorry, you guys. I don't know where that cut off. Anyways, like I think I was saying, um, to obtain your license here in Germany is so expensive. And I only had to pay 80, 80 euros. I don't speak the language. I don't know the rules of the road. I don't know what all the traffic signs mean. But here I am with my license. And there's some people that are like... I know some people who have been trying to get their license here in Germany for so long and just cannot pass the test. Like, they can probably drive a car better than I can, they know the rules of the road, they understand all the traffic signs, cannot obtain a license that are German, that have been here their entire life, and they can't get a license, and here I am with one. I just think that's so insane. Mm, that's another thing that I want to speak about is the price of the license. That's a big difference from here to America. In America, driver's ed number one is free. It's still free, right? It was free when I was growing up. Growing up. Yeah, growing up. Um, it was free and I'm sure it still is. Driver's ed is free and to obtain your license, I think is like less than 50 bucks in America. Here in Germany, it's thousands of dollars. Why it's so expensive, I really don't know. Um, I I want to say Germany has less traffic violations and accidents and stuff than America does, probably because their license process is so extensive compared to us in America. So that could be a reason they want to keep that up. It could be the fact that they can go so fast on the Autobahn, you know? So it could be just things like that for the reason that it is so extensive. If it works for them, though, it works for them. The next thing that I want to talk about is the fact that if I was to go back to America and I needed to be able to drive, all I would have to do to get an international license is go to the DMV and pay 16 oidos and that license is then good for, I would then have my original fee to shine and I would have an international one. Um, that that would then be good for three years, which is so crazy to me because it's only 16 and I can basically drive anywhere on that. That's a really good point to be made. That's something that I would have liked to know or I do like to know now because especially people who go back and forth a lot. The next thing I want to talk about is there are only 28 states that allow. There's a freaking fly because I always have my back door open, as you guys already know. Anyway, there are only 28 states that allow you to come to Germany and do that transition to a German license so easily. I'm not going to sit here and read all 28 states to you guys, though. Nobody wants to hear that right now. The next thing is going to be parallel parking seems to be like such a thing here. Like everybody's parked along the side of the road. I'm pretty sure that's part of the test taking process to obtain your feet to shine. But... I don't know how to parallel park. That's another reason I can't believe they gave me a license and I have no idea how to parallel park. If you know, if you are aware of the test taking process to obtain it, your feet to shine here in Germany, let me know in the comments down below. Do you have to know how to parallel park during your test? And the next thing and really the last thing, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of wrap this up, you guys. 
is going to be the fact that um, in Germany, you do have to renew your license, but it's only every 15 years. That is like very extensive. And that's so good because it's so annoying to continue to have to go back to the DMV. But um, in America, they're only good for what, six years? If even that long comment down below if you know that exact answer I no longer have my American license because when I translated it and sent it off and blah 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 they took it obviously I didn't get it back so yeah you guys that is my video for today just a little bit of information on obtaining your German driver's license coming from America I don't have all the answers but I do have some information that like I just did love to share with you guys but yeah, you guys hit that subscribe button down below, join the fam, and I will talk to y'all next time. Bye fam.